Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Columbus, Ohio. Yes, I am back in Columbus, Ohio, but not for the reason that I'd like to be. My car, no, my car is not ready. Uh, my, my, my car is still, after four months, still sitting here in Columbus being repaired. That is not the reason I'm in Columbus today. Um, I'm headed back to, to uh, North Carolina and take care of some business. And uh, I decided to stop here in Columbus to visit the Oddities and Curiosities Expo that they are having here in Columbus. I have not been to an Oddities and Curiosities Expo yet this year. So I really wanted to check one out and I figured I could hit this one in Columbus on my way to uh, to North Carolina. Uh, for those of you who have not uh, been to an Oddities and Curiosities Expo or not seen a video that I've done, uh, they are it's a traveling show. They have vendors that sell different strange and unusual items. Uh, it's really fun stuff, really wonderful stuff. I um, I also have a tendency to uh, to overspend when I'm here. Uh, you know, we're gonna try. We'll see. We'll see if something catches my fancy. I'm not necessarily here to spend a lot of money, but uh, you know, if I see something that speaks to me, I may purchase it. Um, this is actually day two. Day one was yesterday, so I'm wor a little worried that all the oddities are going to be sold out. But I got here a little earlier than I normally would, uh, so hopefully we will uh, we'll find some interesting stuff today here at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo here in Columbus, Ohio. So please follow me. We're here at the Ohio State Fairgrounds, so hopefully we can return here and check out the uh, State Fair. You can see they have a sky car right here. So yeah, I'm trying to visit as many State Fairs as possible this year, so hopefully we'll come back and uh, experience the Ohio State Fair. All right, looks like the Oddities and Curiosities Expo will be here in the Bricker Building. All right, looks like a lot of fun going on here today at the Expo. Looking here at some of the official merchandise for uh, this year at the Expo. This really cool shirt here with the uh, Sorceress on it. You have the red and yellow version and the uh, black and white version there. And then check out, they actually have the scarf here. It's pretty cool. All right, let's check out some of these booths. We have rare possessions here. Some very interesting stuff. This caught my eye over here. It's an Odd Fellows ceremonial piss helmet. It's got the uh, skull and crossbones there. And then also a mask that comes down over the wearer's face. That's pretty, oh, that's pretty ominous. Lots of bones here. This alligator skull wearing uh, wearing another Odd Fellows hat. Yeah, no disrespect to anyone in the uh, Odd Fellows organization, but man, the masks are creepy. This is actually a uh, screen use prop from the show True Blood, which I did used to watch, a show about uh, vampires and werewolves in the uh, deep south. And uh, these are actually prosthetic werewolf hands that were used in the show. That's pretty amazing. This is a medical training kit where I guess uh, students learn how to poke needles into a human abdomen. It's the Cobble Taxidermy Emporium. They're at just about every Oddities and Curiosities show. They have wonderful prices. I've actually purchased quite a few pieces of uh, taxidermy from uh, this booth. A little squirrel in a canoe and a raccoon playing the harmonica. Have a squirrel there on a stripper pole. And if uh, you look closely, the little dollars at the bottom actually have squirrel faces on them as well. 
There's a muskrat wearing a tiny little hat. It's a little bowler hat. This little guy's got a whole backpack full of peanuts. Yeah, I do love the uh, little varmints in tiny hats. And uh, look at this. this rodeo scene here. A rat riding a weasel. And a raccoon there shredding on the guitar. Uh, this is super cool. We have the Oddities Museum, which has been an attraction here at the uh, different conventions. But this year they actually have changed things up and are now having the Cryptic Collection of a Mad Clown. So a new theme to the Traveling Oddities Museum here. And uh, actually before they did not allow any photos, but they've, they've uh, loosened the reins a little bit, so we'll actually be able to film some uh, inside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a crazy show, a cryptic clown and his collection of genetically engineered animals, two-headed animals, cyclops animals, animals with multiple limbs, be mesmerized, hypnotized, blown away, be amazed, see it to believe it, take your friends on by, a real mermaid from the depths of the sea, a real spaceman from the sky, and a real live six-foot man eating chicken. See the posters here on the side, we have kidnapped pets. Well, that's kind of sad. And then a 100% real mermaid, genetically engineered animals, patrons that never left. We got some skeletons there. And I guess the main attraction, a six foot man eating chicken, a chicken that eats men and is six feet tall. And of course, a real two headed calf. All right, let's head inside here this uh, show kind of I guess takes you through the progress of the story of a clown you can see the clown uh, outfit there and the different uh, clown heads here here we have one-of-a-kind wonders of nature's an absolute amazing collection of freaks I guess this is the farmer here got the two-headed calf what is that some sort of uh, some sort of some sort of pony like creature this oh these are amazing they have such an amazing collection of uh of animal oddities here the two-headed calf so yeah telling the story of richard the clown come by you know come by yourself and walk through and experience the full story of richard i won't spoil it for you and look at that that is adorable there the little uh one-eyed lamb there named fluffy and uh, this one not as adorable per se um it's a it's a cow with a with a split head and a tongue where he's like licking his own forehead it's uh it's unfortunate funeral scene here with a vicious a vicious monkey a vicious monkey attacking the corpse i want my i want my funeral to be like this they have a collection of beloved dogs here. You know, people love their dogs, so they get them taxidermied, so they can kind of keep them forever in a different sort of state. Look at the little bows there tied to uh, that puppy. Oh, they, they still look so sweet and friendly. There's a real live alien there. And then over here, we have a living mermaid here in a glass casket oh wow that is amazing look at uh, look at the mermaid's hair there they're like made out of out of fins with this mighty lion here we head into the grand finale it says we're about to see a six foot man eating chicken unfortunately we're not allowed no photos of this this is something too horrific too terrifying to even document so I'll see you on the other side. Some amazing things here at the Oddities Museum. The cryptic collection of a mad clown, but nothing, nothing more horrifying than the six foot man-eating chicken. It's the most horrifying thing I have ever seen. In fact, I don't, I don't even really, I don't even really want to talk about it, but uh, yeah, if you have, if you, if you have the, the amount of bravery and, uh, and, and conviction that it takes. I do recommend checking out the Oddities Museum, the cryptic collection of a 
Mad Clown here at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Got some rubber chickens here in the gift shop. And uh, I like this, they, they, they are allowed one, one squeeze, one free squeeze of the chicken. So we'll, we'll take advantage of our free squeeze here. Oh, that was totally worth it. You can get a shirt saying that you survived the uh, six foot tall man eating chicken. I survived. My experience was so horrifying. Honestly, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. You have uh, plushies of Fluffy, the uh, Lamb of Satan. We saw Fluffy inside the uh, Oddities show. And uh, up here, you can buy your own Juan Cabana sea monster head. I actually have a, uh, a Juan Cabana Fiji mermaid in my cabinet of curiosities at home. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he does some of these really great uh, uh, mermaid gaffes. Oh, I don't know, I may be tempted to purchase one of these rabbit, rabbit birds here. This site here, simply known as Thing. Get into the case here, to that, that devil's head basket and a genuine photo of Robert Wadlow back there. And then uh, this clock here says the sad hour. In amongst all these yeah, old timey uh, Halloween decorations, you have this kit that's used, all these tools are used to bore into the human skull. Oh, look who showed up. It's uh, it's the Zodiac, it's the Zodiac Killer. Wonder, wonder who's behind that mask. There's a lot, a lot of theories out there. See a coffin, uh, coffin with a view there. Oh, that's that's spooky right there. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of genuine hair wreaths. It's pretty amazing. They're made out of human hair. You celebrate the dead. I always like to stop by the Art Attack booth here. They have uh, kawaii satanic artwork. You can see the two-headed baby there. It's a little lollipop there gotcha. with yeah, a razor blade in it. And then there's a baby mothman hanging out with a baby Wolpertinger. It's a studio pain here. Some interesting uh, taxidermy creations. This is a spring chicken. Spring chicken, because the chicken, they spring for a neck. And a rabbit in a high chair as well. Oh, look at this. It's a little bunny of Doink the Clown, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Squirrel riding on the back of a dragon there. Here at Pickled Punk, have some of these wonderful sideshow banners. Those ladies incorporate dogs. The, Sort of the Boston Terrier, the Boston Terror, the uh, Doc Ness monster. Crypto cats here, different uh, different cats in uh, <laughs> the Cat Thulu there, the Grim Kitty. Oh, there you go, Moth Meow. Some wonderful plushies here. Let's see uh, some uh, Sasquatch. Varieties of Sasquatches. There's Miss Mothman there. Yeah, I love the little very, very spooky ghost. Oh, I love that. And a Yeti down there. I'm fitting for the show here. There's Curious Kitties. There's a little cat there with his oddities collection. I actually own some of these shirts, like the Cryptorama there. And look at this jackalope shirt. I think I'm gonna need to need to get myself one of these. There's another stand that I always love stopping by, the Dusty Tentacle. Some very unique original creations here. Love these little figures there. You can see like a little demon there. A little alien uh, alien mummy. Some sort of a uh, bird boy there. Your ghoul friends. A little, if you want to take home a little ghoul as a friend to the well, the mandrake roots there it's from i think that's uh those appear in the harry potter in the harry potter series oh yeah i always love their actually own one of their uh fiji mermen there's a there's one with a beard and you can take home a lincoln turd there <laughs> a lincoln log if you will 
There's the eyes, uh, eye, uh, coins with the eyes of a corpse, and a little bit of dragon skin there. At the Dusty Tentacle, they gifted me this decision coin. I guess I can use this to make all my major life decisions now. Either flip it, it'll be either yes or no. Since uh, some of my decisions haven't been that great recently, maybe I better leave things to, uh, to the coin to decide. Another taxidermy shop here, Tony's Trading Post. See some wild taxidermy here. I got the uh, walrus head over there amongst the others. And look at this. I think that's a little woolly booger there. A little, uh, little taxidermied Sasquatch. Speaking of which, they actually have a head mount of Bigfoot over there amongst the uh, other taxidermy animals. Here's Clan Halibert. And look at this, a Buzz Lightyear squirrel there. It's even got uh, like a little lightsaber-like sword there. Pretty amazing. The lantern-like structure here that we made out of chicken heads, glowing chicken heads. You can see their eyes glowing there. Oh, and these are so cool. The little dioramas inside of the taxidermy. This is an interesting creature there. Maybe a cousin of the jackalope with uh, with uh, glowing eyes. Yeah, look at that. I think it's some sort of, maybe some sort of beaver with horns. Yeah, so cool here. And look at this one down here. It's inside of a bear's head. Let's see what goes on inside of a bear's head there. Oh, look at these right here. Some uh, creepy plushies there. Look at their faces. If you have killers, kill the card game. If you kill them, that killer gets the kill. So the game. At the end of everybody's turn, the police come around, they investigate any evidence tokens you left behind. If they find three of them, they can then try to apprehend your killer. If you lose a killer for any reason, death or arrest, you lose all the kills associated with that. So if Dahmer's got eight kills and you're about ready to win, and you lose Dahmer, no longer winning the game. Wow. Then it becomes last killer standing. Wow. So, okay. lots okay. of fun. They all have little bios on the back, so you can get to know them if you don't. So we Always like checking out the off, different Fiji uh, mermaids at the different booths. Those, uh, those are not in mass production. Is uh, Ramirez there with the trademark you pentagram on his hand? Another must stop at these conventions. Loft 817, they make wonderful uh, drawings of monsters and cryptids in a very unique style. Here's a local creature, the Loveland Frogman over in the Cincinnati area. It's a half man, half frog here. It looks like we have some, some nuclear waste. Maybe that caused the creation of the Frogman. I always think the Wendigo, probably the most terrifying of all the uh, cryptids, mythical creatures. It's actually a, a human being who has has practiced cannibalism and therefore is cursed to turn into the Wendigo, which is always hungry for human meat and cannot be satiated. Here at Deviant Dolls, have some uh, very interesting baby dolls created to look like horror characters. And apparently each one is a completely unique piece of art. Art They don't repeat the uh, exact same doll. See the uh, Squid Game, Squid Game doll there. There's a couple of uh, John Wayne Gacy's there on uh, roller skates. We have a cowboy there. We have a voodoo priestess along with a voodoo doll. And this one is super cool. This is a Monopoly mermaid, two-headed Monopoly mermaid. The tail made of Monopoly money. Oh, the eyes there are red and green for the uh, for the hotels. This one looks like Mr. Monopoly. And then down here in the shells, you can see the little Monopoly pieces. Pretty amazing mermaid. This K.L. Morris Studios has some wonderful original creations here. Look at this uh, clown here. Looks like he's got an alien coming out of his belly. 
little frog boy there. His name is Clyde. Really like this little guy here. I think his name is T-Rex. It's like a little squid coming out of a, a shell there. It's a little Pinocchio head teapot there. Oh, this cool little guy here is called Eddie. There's a creature there riding a snail. A little witch doctor monkey. Here at the Goblin Trader, there's all these little different versions of the Necronomicon. Oh, I see you peeking there at me. And look at this. I think this is the largest Necronomicon I've ever seen. Look at that. Look how big that is. Oh yeah, look at that there. Spooky little totem there. This is affordable skulls and more. See the different skulls as well as these taxidermied parakeets here. It's like a very lifelike. Some taxidermied guinea pigs here, which is really good if uh, you have a kid who has a hard time uh, remembering to feed his pets. This is the cement head here. They specialize in creating animals with creepy baby heads. Is that a little sleepy baby cat there? Is that a little baby otter there at the back? I guess these are baby birds reaching up out of uh, out of the nest. I think you could take these babies' brains out. Here at Creekside Taxidermy, some more fun with uh, with uh, taxidermy animals dressed up like people. There's a squirrel there with a wig. So a bunny in a hat sweeping. Some uh, Christmas squirrels there. See the squirrel there with a little si the ugly Santa Claus sweater and a candy cane. I do like these possums here. A little possum headed doll. A couple more <laughs> possum dolls there. Wonder if this uh, groundhog here is going to see its shadow. Oh, chaos reigns, young lady. It's adorable little mice here. You can see those are little, little artist mice painting. Some mice with uh, Christmas ornaments. And these ones here holding, holding little flowers. It's artwork here by Lost in a Dream. And here is their, their mascot, Pickles. Pickles the possum there. Oh, love, the, love the hat, love the, love the, the, the glasses as well. Of Mad Hatter Creations here. And, uh, look at their their mascot here. I guess these are called the the Tweakers. These little characters here. Oh, they're, they're wrapped up in uh, straight jackets. This one. Uh, this one's got some pills on his tongue. Some outlet covers here. When you go to uh, reach behind the reach behind the the dresser to to plug something in. This would be great if they put these in hotels behind the behind the dressers and nightstands. I really like this one here. He's super creepy. This guy here is having a lot of fun. His little piece of playground equipment. Look at their teeth. Their teeth are so realistic. That's great. Oh no, this guy's got his eyes peeled open. Original artwork by McScully. Really beautiful painting there with the skull. So some other oddities mixed in here. This uh, human body you can take apart. Yeah, check out, check out the head there. The colorful bunny there. And see, uh, there's Charlie McCarthy, a little carnival monkey there. And uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I would say these symbol monkeys were the thing in the world I was the most scared of. Do like these horse hand puppets. Put on your own puppet shows there. Also, I love this uh, three-dimensional clown painting. Kind of bulges outward. A velvet painting of Jesus there. It's his soul perchers. Some very artistic taxidermy displays. See a globe there with a uh, raccoon head. Otherwise, my I do love this full-bodied 
human deer here. Here at Monsterology, they make these wonderful cryptid prints. I've purchased a few of these myself. Do love this one, the Loveland Frogman there in Loveland, Ohio. See, some accounts of the Frogman says that he actually has a magic wand. And there's Fresno, California, with probably the strangest cryptid, the Fresno Nightcrawler. Here at the Grave Glamour booth, I have this adorable little kitty. Hey there, buddy. Here's a good kitty. It's Roadside Linen Arts. Some of these amazing shadow boxes here. See the Spookarama Dark Ride from uh, Coney Island. Yeah, absolutely love these. Got to, oh, there's Godzilla versus uh, Mecha Godzilla there. See some more uh, Coney Island stuff there. And look at this little uh, carnival game. You throw balls at the little carnival punks there. It's the Skeletorium, which has one of the coolest names of all the different booths here. The amazing tableaus of uh, little skeleton critters riding these uh, big steampunk machines. These here are mouse fairies. The guy here has this little collection of odds and ends that he's found. They also sell expired action figures. You can see Luke there. That's expired, leaving only bones and a lightsaber. It's Princess Leia. He's turned to bones as well. I think there's a little blaster in there though. And these Ninja Turtles, which have left behind only bones and little ninja masks. Oh, wow. Oh no, don't do that either. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, oh no! Oh, look at that. All right, balancing on a tiny casket while juggling knives. Here we go. There we go. Witch lab here. See a very scary cat there. What happened? What happened to his eye? That down here we have a uh, horrifying, a horrifying uh, gray fox.
it going? I got this guy. Oh. From Roanoke, Virginia. And I picked him up. I guess they picked him up in an estate sale. Yeah? It needs a name. Oh, okay. Uh, Can you name it? Uh, I'm not good with names. What are you, what are you thinking? I don't know. Him? Him? We'll just call him him. It says him. Hey, him. You like him? Are you sure he's not, are you sure he's not haunted? He's like, yeah. another fine oddities and curiosities expo and like I said I am hoping to come back for the uh, Ohio State Fair and ride along the Skylift here I ended up not making any major purchases today um, definitely love buying stuff here but I don't know I was just thinking wait until maybe I'll wait until I get uh, get my house set up before I start bringing more things in, uh, but absolutely, uh, absolutely a wonderful uh, expo here. I, I, I love getting out to these. You know, it's hard, you know, making sure I'm in the right city at the right time. So I did want to take the opportunity to come out here to Columbus and enjoy their expo here. And I will, I will try to uh, make some more before the end of the year. It's just, you know, with my traveling plans, it's hard to line them up with where. I'm going to be and so that I can actually attend these expos uh, but thank you guys for uh, thanks for watching this video if uh, you like these videos please subscribe I travel around the country I film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun random stuff if you'd like to help support the channel consider donating to patreon three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Hopefully getting some new ones very soon. Also doing messages on Cameo during personalized birthdays, anniversaries, and just uh, fun messages in general. If you're interested in that, check the description in the video. And uh, of course, all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.